Hello everyone, welcome to UGC NET Forensic Science Series. I am Sakshi Sahu. I have completed my bachelor's from Dr. Hari Singh or Vishwavidyala in Forensic Science. Now I am pursuing my master's in chemistry from National Forensic Science University. And today we will learn about heroin, abuse, identification and forensic analysis. So heroin. Heroin is a semi-synthetic alkaloid which is derived, uh, derived from opium. Here is the structure and molecular formula of heroin. So how a heroin is formed? Basically from morphine it is derived. Uh, so it come under the depressant uh, like opium and from opium morphine is derived and from that morphine heroin is derived. First it was prepared by a pharmacist in St. Mary's Hospital London. Uh, he was just trying to take out the potency of morphine but he found uh, accidentally heroin which have no medical use uh, so uh, it is a white odorless uh, crystalline powder with ha which is having a bitter taste and fatal dose is 50 mg and it is three times more potent and dangerous than morphine so here are some street name of heroin that are dragon dope hero hera big edge hero he boy black tar black pear white horse smack uh, snowball and snow. Uh, now the synthesis of heroin. Here we can see the structure that morphine which undergo for uh, acetic uh, with the help of acetic anhydride and refluxed uh, under 5 hours with a temperature of 230 degrees Celsius and with the addition of Na2CO3 uh, uh, which, uh, which make the formation of heroin. This process is known as the diacetylization of morphine which converted into heroin. Huh. So heroin, like morphine and other opioids, it is taken orally, injected or inhaled and induced depression and reduction in sex urge, hunger and aggressive derive. Common side effects of heroin are respiratory depression which is decreased breathing, dry mouth, drowniness, impaired mental function, constipation and addiction. Uh, it is typically sold in market with white or brownish powder which is then cut with the sugar, starch or powdered milk. So when uh, more uh, heroin is derived, it is in black tar formation which is an impure form of heroin. Then it is purified when it is cut with sugar, uh, starch and powdered milk. Pure heroin is white powder which is having a bitter taste predominantly found in uh, South America and uh, marketed in US. Black tar heroin is sticky, roofing dark, hard and found and sold in US. The dark color associated with the black tar heroin result in a crude and which have impurities in it. Impure heroin is usually dissolved and diluted and injected into the vein muscle under the skin. Here is a photograph of black tar heroin. Now heroin abuse. Heroin is very addictive drug, drug as in first slide we have seen it is three times more potent than morphine. So it is highly addictive and causes the men, mainly the mental disorder to the person. Heroin enter in brain and which bind to our opioid receptor which is located in cell area of our brain and causes uh, uncontrollable or we can say disbalance in our heart rate, sleeping disorders and breathing. Heroin can give a feeling of discomfort also, comfort and feeling of happiness too. Uh, it majorly causes a rush in our body. It can uh, also make you feel like world is slow down. People on heroin may think slowly and might move slowly. Repeatedly heroin used to change the physical structure and psychological uh, effect on our brain also. It causes the imbalance in neuron hormonal system and it can be easily reversed too. It causes health problem, disability, trouble at home, school or in working area. Heroin also produces profound degree and tolerance in physical dependency. Now administration of heroin. Uh, this means that how hero heroin is taken inside our body. So there are some sources like ejection, snorting, smoking, in injection and suppuratories. Injection. Here are some cool terms which are usually used for the injection of or when we take directly to our veins that is smamming, 
banging, shoot up, digging, mailing. Required use to dissolve of heroin powder and acids such as citric acid, water, lemon juice in order to break down uh, to heroin. When heroin is break down, as we all know, when we inject uh, uh, any type of drug inside our bloodstream, it should be cut down in the after the powder form. So some acid like citric acid, water, and lemon juice are used. Which then injected to in our body. The heated into in a fine liquid and inject inside the veins. The root requires a small dose and it uh, it have high potency and faster it reacts to our body. So that's why the injection is uh, mostly used. Uh, intravenous avoid the pass of metabolism. Therefore, readily be able to cross the blood brain barrier and effect immediately after the injection. Smoking. The second most route is smoking, which is used. Uh, it uh, uh, mainly heroin is bind with marijuana, tobacco in the form of cigarettes, and people used to smoke it. Uh, when it is heated down, it become a thick liquid, and people also call as or the name is given that is chasing the dragon because of its potency. Snorting. Snorting is a route by which people usually take uh, directly to their nose so heroin is one uh, this type of method is least used usually the crush the heroin into the fine powder and gently inhaled it, uh, it uh, like heroin is uh, directly taken with the nose or snorting same uh, cocaine and other drugs are also used Heroin is absorbed in a soft tissue in muscular uh, membrane of our sinus cavity and which directly go to our bloodstream. By snorting, user bypass first pass meta metabolism in liver. The user may still get high on drug from snorting and experience of not, but will not get a rush. A rush is caused by the large amount of heroin which enter to our body at once. When the drug is taken through the nose, the user does not get rush because Drug is absorbed slowly rather than instantly. Ejection or ingestion. Uh, it is a type of oral intake of heroin which is taken directly to our mouth and which undergo the metabolization and then go on under our liver orally. It uh, it is in the liver. Heroin converted into the morphine again. Suppurators. These methods are administered are commonly carried using the oral syringes. This type of administration usually used in a uh, anal uh, route. Mm. So the rectum and vaginal canal in various majorly of drugs would likely to be taken through the membrane lining their walls. Withdrawal symptoms. The onset of withdrawal system are very among to the users. So here are some effects which are seen under 36 to 48 hours of taking of heroin such as jitters, chills, vomiting, diarrhea, bone and muscular pain, trouble in sleeping, cold flashes, leg movement which you can't control. Heroin overdose. Heroin overdose depress heart rate and breathing. People who uh, undergo the overdose of heroin, doctor usually recommend a tablet or medicine uh, which name is uh, Narcan. Narcan acts as antagonist and reverse the effect of heroin physiological effect here are some physiological effect of heroin that is euphobia a dry mouth warm flushed skin uh, arms and leggy which feels our leg to be heavy heavy upset stomach and vomiting itching a fuzzy brain switch in and out from drowsiness long time effect of heroin which can lead to collapsed vein insomnia infection in heart lining and valves Skin infections like abrasives and cellulitis, a uh, higher change in getting of HIV and AIDS, hepatitis B and hepatitis C, uh, liver and kidney disease, mental disorder, lung disease like pneumonia and tuberculosis. Damaged tissue inside the nose of people who sniff or snort it, constipation, stomach cramping, sexual dysfunction for male, irregular menstrual cycle for women. Forensic identification of heroin. Uh, so uh, here are two methods such as chemical testing and instrumentation analysis. So first we will see the chemical test. Is. So most common one is Marquis test which is a spot test used for alkaloids. 
So reagents are one volume of formalin and nine volume of concentrated H2SO4. Uh, so by this we can find the alkaloid. Uh, hmm. This test is performed by scrapping off a small amount of alkaloid present, adding a drop which changes the color from a uh, normal to a purple violet color which indicate the presence of heroin. So advantages of using the chemical test are they are simple, rapid, sensitive and specific. Another test is MEC test. It is, a, it is also a type of spot test in which reagent are serenous acid and concentrated H2SO4 which changes the color into blue green color. Uh, the advantage remains the same that is simple, rapid and sensitive. Another chemical test is for a reagent which is also a type of spot test in which reagent is molybdate salt which is heated with concentrated H2SO4 and which changes the color into violet to green and then finally to blue. Concentrated nitric acid test. This test is usually used to differentiate between heroin and morphine. So it gives yellow color which slowly changes to green color. fischer moyers test. In this type of test, two reagent is needed. Reagent A, which is formic acid, and reagent B, which is 5% of aqueous nitrate, uh, nitrate solution. It is also a type of test in which test tube is required. 7 drop of reagent A and 5 drop of reagent B, which allow to stand into 1 or 2 minutes, then add 15 to 20 drops of chloroform. Shake and allow to stand and see the color change in the both the layers. So aqueous layer give you the blue color, faint blue color and chloroform layer will give you yellow color. Majorine test. The Majorine test uh, are spot, it is a type of uh, spot test only. It composed of mixture of ammonium metabendate and concentrated H2SO4. A reagent 100 ml of concentrated 95 to 98% of sulfuric acid to 0 0.5 of ammonium metabendate. Dark greyish and reddish brown indicate the possible presence of heroin. Limitations of chemical test. Color exhibits by these tests cannot be described with any accuracy. Color may vary instantly or tend to concentration come out in test sample in the presence of external environment. In addition, their assessment is always a subjective one. Some of these complex are from unstable so that color change fade with the time. Most of the drug of abuse are commonly routinely encountered, diluted with a variety of other substances and one begin with appreciate the difficulties that can arise in real world with a color test. So after that we will see the instrumentation analysis which include TLC that is thin layer chromatography in which mobile phase is required that is chloroform and exit and triethylamine with this 994 ratio, chloroform and cyclohexane and diethylamine with 8103 ratio, toluene and diethylamine with 85115 ratio. And uh, after the TLC, the visualization is takes place with the help of UV light uh, under 254 nanometer, dead end of reagent spray, which give yellow color spot, acidified potassium iodoplatinitate reagent spray, which give blue color um, spots. Thin layer chromatography. It is inexpensive, rapid, sensitive, and uh, only a small amount of analyte is required for the analysis. It is a flexible technique for both stationary phase and mobile phase, and it is used widely uh, ranging from polar and non-polar materials. A variety of visualization techniques are used. However, in many countries, it is not acceptable as a single technique for drug identification. Now, other instrumentation analysis are, so, uh, they are advanced techniques such as GC, gas chromatography, HPLC, high performance liquid chromatography, high performance thin layer liqu liquid chromatography, that is HPTLC, capillary electrophoresis, gas chromatography integrated with uh, MS, mass spectroscopy, and FTIR. If you like this video, please hit like, share, and subscribe, and you will get the notes in description box. Thank you.